come? Um, obviously, you know, we're disappointed that we've uh, we haven't got results at a two Heineken Cup games, but there's a real air of um, excitement and confidence as well around what we've got coming up as well. You know, we, we there's some things in that out of Northampton that we've taken away that we, we're keen to keep building on and we're pretty pleased with, but results-wise we're disappointed as a group. We set ourselves some high expectations around Europe this year and we, we, we haven't achieved that as yet. Good thing is, is that there's still a few more rounds to go in that and, and uh, I know that people are saying that yeah, yeah, no one's qualified out of the position that we're in, but you know it's a challenge that Alan Wynn's put to the group, and we'll just see how that goes. You mentioned that people have sort of started writing well for it. Is that an inspiration for the group? Is this one of those groups that thrives under those sorts of circumstances? Oh, I think at the end of the day, mate, um, you know when you get results like we've we've got out of Europe, your people will start <laughs> chucking chucking uh, mud at you. But the key thing is for us as a group, it's, we don't care what people say about us, mate. We what we's, what's important to us is that we get back on the horse and we start producing the goods for, for ourselves as a team but also for our supporters and the people who have backed us, you know. So we're a good rugby team. We just haven't played well over the, probably two games and in some areas of the game that have cost us. Tristan, sorry, sorry. Can, can you take strength from being written off? Um, I, I guess you can, mate. I, to be fair, I just have not even thought about that. I've just thought about what we need to do to get better and what's coming around the corner next. And the next thing for us is the is the Dragons, and it's a great opportunity for us um, to rectify parts of our game, but also too to take on a, a you know local rival. So that's I haven't really thought too much about that, to be honest. Is that the ideal chance to bounce back at a local derby, a game with, you know, which gets the players going? Yeah, yeah, and again, you, you know, there's some things in, and you would have seen in our games that um, against Leinster and, and, and Northampton that were really good and really positive, and we just want to keep building on those. You know, there's, it's going to be a really good opportunity for us uh, up against the Dragons team that's going to be pretty pretty fired up to come to Liberty and knock us over, and, you know, they would have seen us over the last uh, three games. But we're not focusing on that as much as we are. As The performance for us as an individual group is the most important thing, and that's what the focus and emphasis is on. What you made of the this season because they've perhaps surprised some people. Lynn Jones on them have done a pretty good job so far from looking from afar. What have you made of their start to the season? Oh, they've had a had a great start. You know, um, you know they're a competitive, hugely competitive side, and you know I think that you know just look at the results that they've had. You know they're going to be coming here pretty fired up to, to take us on, and you know and I'm sure that they'll. Uh, you know they'll back themselves as well, which is a great challenge for us as a as a forward pack. So, you know, particularly so, um, you know, we're really looking forward to the challenge. Um, you know, rival the rivals, you know, local derby. So, that's going to be really good for us. You're relatively new to the environment. Yeah, and, uh, Greenhorn, I think they're calling me. <laughs> Um, have you been made aware of, of Lynn standing at, at the region? And oh yeah, without a doubt. Lynn is a character. Does, does his return uh, give the game an added edge? Yeah, I, I guess that's um, that's you know that, that's probably part of the story for us going you know we're in this game, but. Um, you know, he's obviously had a massive influence on, on Osprey's rugby over the time. Um, this is a new era, this is a different team, different management and a different focus. So, um, to be fair, it's, uh, you know, he's doing a great job with the Dragons, but like, we focused on what we're about here and that's, that's the key thing. We just want performance. And, uh, Chris, do you uh, expect the sort of Lynn Jones factor to affect the players? Mate, you'd have to ask them. I wouldn't have a clue, mate. So, um, I, I, was a, as a, I guess as a coach, I would hope not. Um, but I can't speak for them. After three defeats uh, in a row, Chris, you know, is there any kind of panic at the region? Um, not at all, because uh, the good thing is, mate, is that we've got a hell of a lot of rugby ahead of us, and uh, where we are now and where we're going to be this time, you know, the end of uh, come the season is completely going to be completely different. So there's no panic. We just need to start actioning what we need to do. That's the bottom line. Of the, uh, oh, I've been reasonably happy in, in some areas, you know. The, and I think if you look, and this is the one thing you will never, I, I don't think you'll ever be able to comment negatively about this group is that the effort and the, you know, and the energy that they're putting in. And the Fords in particular, I think, you know, they've, they've done really well. But, you know, there's just some key little bits and pieces that we're missing at crucial times that are letting us down. And we've just got to get that right. Yeah, it's a question of sort of playing for 80 minutes and all this. The possession stats in the first half in Northampton, you only won 38% of possession. In the second half, you transformed that. Yeah, and I think you know those. We got to try and balance that up a bit, and 
And I think you know the key thing from a set piece point of view is that we're you know we're winning our ball, but we're we're actually not producing the quality that's good enough for us as a team to to use. So we've just got to get those little areas right, and so the, so the team can get going forward. From the weekend, do you expect any changes from the team that you put out for a European game compared to a Pro 12 game? Not really, no, not really, because I think the key thing is is that you know again the Dragons we're not taking them lightly by any means, and I think the key thing is for us is that you know sure we've we've gone you know zero from two in uh, in Europe, but we've. We're still in a really strong position in the Pro 12, so we've got to make sure that we keep ticking over, and you know that's the goal for us on Friday night. In terms of injuries, did you pick up any, any new concerns? Um, yeah, there's a couple of little dings, and again, um, we've just got to let the medical team just work their way through those. So again, we're not in a position to write anyone off just as yet. Is he in? Um, didn't train this morning, so again, we just he's a case by case with that Achilles. So. Not, not at this stage. We're not. Um, yeah, we haven't really got anyone else coming in that we're we're looking at. So, Chris, how do you uh, start scoring more tries? You only scored just the one in yep. three games. Yeah, I think the key thing, as I said before, it's making sure that the ball that we're winning, um, there's quality for us as a team to, to get good strike and go forward on. And I think that if we do that, then we're playing ahead of the game line and. That's what we've shown that we can uh, we can score tries in that situation. So it's just about making sure we get those little connections right. We haven't got that right in the last two games, and it's been costly for us. The Dragons have got uh, great player in Toby Farter. How do you stop him? Tackle him. Tackle him. Well, that's how you stop players, isn't it? Yeah. No, he's serious, mate. He's um, he's a hell of a player, and he's a threat. But. The key thing is, is that you know we've got a defensive system that's pretty solid, and, and I think I've said this before, we just got to back our system and make sure that when he comes down our channel, we take him, and that's the main thing. So, you know. what about their other threats? Well, mate. Yeah, well, I think the key thing is, is that as a team, I think they've shown you know, that they are a strong side in terms of the way that they. They stick together and they hang hang it out. You know, like they've had a couple of really good wins just by gutsing it out, getting good leads and just hang, hanging on. So as a team, I think they're they're a team that that will go the, the 12 rounds. So that's the, probably the biggest threat. Um, they've got they've got some game breakers inside it, but you know, defensive systems, will, good defensive systems will stop those at times. So we've just got to make sure we're on the mark there. You must be quite pleased with Ryan Parrott's display last week. Yeah, I think. Um, Right across the front row, we had some good performances there, um, you know. And I think uh, from a scrum perspective, you know, we, we've made we've made a few inroads, but again, we still we're not where we need to be or want to be, and we've just got to make it up. How do you feel your young backs went? Well, being a tight forward, mate, um, they they look pretty good to me. I was pretty happy. Again, there's a probably a couple of communication errors there. But um, you know that's that's a team perspective, not just on them. So I thought uh, you know they're, they're going pretty well.